Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Dandelion, and we're back with another podcast. Joining me today is XO I Zawa. I'm gonna try to hold that. Konnichiwa. Up. I'm gonna try to hold that up as a note one day. How long okay. can we keep that going? And we just gonna be sitting here. Yeah, bro. Oh man, if I can keep that going for an hour, that would be you're, so. Pretty. You're gonna die. I'll be a ghost man at that point then. Okay. The fat ghost. Okay. Way of dendation. Anyway. Fat ghost, coast to coast. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> that, would be, that would actually kind of work. You just got like a pot belly, but he's still like ripped at the top. Oh, ew. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Beer gut and everything. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be talking about sibling representation in anime. This is something I've thought about for off and on for the past couple of years of my life and you know i myself have a sibling xo aizawa has like 20 siblings not true false is it it better be <laughs> but yes seeing as how we're both siblings and and to be fair we are both coming from opposite ends of the sibling spectrum i am the eldest sibling and i'm the baby exactly so you're going to get fair responses from both of us on this one so older siblings i got us i got us i know what we go through oh brother i legitimately know what we go through and the pain and everything i didn't even start the recording for the video <laughs> yeah it's recording now oh, the audio is recording more or less this is just be random banter and uh. then it'll switch over but yes ladies and gentlemen today's topic is on sibling and their representation in anime so i have a few articles pulled up here uh the best ones that i could find i've clicked on the wrong thing there as you can see and we're going to start off with sibling rivalries now to be fair sibling representation is big in media it has even dates back to the years of the bible you all are familiar with the story of cain and abel which you know hearing that story i would were i would say my relationship with my brother follows that except the last part the last part the, the last part it sounds the, a little hostile okay whoa 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 yep. and if you're gonna say that let's just keep it a buck Kane was a hater. He was. He was definitely a hater. That's why I said the last part. The last So you part. saying you a hater? No, I'm not like saying I'm a hater. I mean, he is ripper. Rip, more ripped than I am. And we're about the same height. I got a better beard though. I got chin hair at least. But how, uh how you know? He was baby faced. Oh, 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 you talking about Kane and Abel. Oh. Yes. What <laughs> What did you think I was talking about? Bro, I thought you was talking about me and King Packer. Hey, what's up, King Packer? Okay. I'm glad you're doing good <laughs> out there, man. I, lo I love you, little bro. Oh. Uh, I do. I want Gross. You, you are just, <laughs> oh my God. Wow. But yes. But even dating back to, to that point, to that point in time, siblings have been a hot button issue in media for a long time because we love to see a good fight between y'all seen a fight between friends when it's familial it is just so much more intense there is way more feelings way more emotions and when done right god it's some of the best crap you've ever seen or it could be the dumbest crap you've ever seen and then you know around the the turn of the millennium we started seeing uh the darker sides of sibling relationships Bro cons, sis cons. I'm telling you, Oshinoko is headed that way. I really feel like it is. Yeah, I don't I don't get the let's let's just not even. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. Cause <laughs> Alright. Mm -mm. So starting with this uh, article we have right here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the ten what is this the ten? The ten best sibling rivalries in anime. Now I'm not exactly gonna completely read from the entire list this is meant to just be an example and it's sort of a background visual in this case i'm trying something new with the podcast here and the topics that we can talk about one of the things i want to do is have a sort of a background visual and an overview of articles and stuff that are read so just note i'm not going to go word for word we have kenshiro and Rao, for example all for one and yuichi but uh, I, I have other examples I'd like to bring up of sibling relationships in anime. So starting off with the rivalries, of course, we have Kenshiro and Rao. As they mentioned here, adopted and trained by the same martial arts master, Kenshiro and Rao both desire to be the strongest wielders of Hakuto Shinken. More or less, you can pretty much guess how that's going to go. But 
getting to the meat and potatoes here. First thing I want to say is you don't have to be blood related to be considered siblings. The three brothers from the Three Kingdoms era were sworn brothers. So if the person is like family to you, that counts as well. Yeah, because Ace, Sabo, and Luffy. Actually, yeah, yeah. That's actually a great callback to it. Ace, Sabo, and Luffy. And let's just hope they don't entirely go the way of the brothers in that sense. But, um, so starting off with sibling rivalries, I know, XYZ, you've had some, uh, some run-ins with your brother. I've had plenty of arguments with my siblings. I have wanted to jerk it. Y'all, y'all do not understand. When you see, when you have siblings and you see those rivalries play out, man, you are like, man, this is how it feels, bro. Like, <laughs> Inuyasha and Sashomaru, I, I swear to, <laughs> I swear to God, boy, that oh was. Oh my gosh, they that hated was, each other. That was me and King Packer, like, like legit. He he was in the Asha. He was in the. I'm I'm Sashomaru, bro, hands down. Like this, he was in the Asha. And, and a lot of people are probably you're probably gonna think, oh, Dendelion trying to play himself up. Just know Sashomaru got his ass beat. Yeah. Yeah, he lost an arm. Yeah, he was still with ass though. But that is like it's that is like one of the one of the best examples that I can think of. Goku and Raditz. I did not know. Oh well, you said they don't have to exactly be blood related. So no, Goku and Goku, Goku and Raditz. Raditz is his name. Salads. Anyway, Goku <laughs> and Raditz are. Wait, I thought they were blood brothers. Consult the Google. What? What I didn't. I didn't think they were, but I. I wouldn't know, so don't. Don't listen to me. And they, they're related. They got the same parents. They. They have the same parents. As far so as I know. Bardock is Raditz's dad. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. The more you know. Yeah. You want to know what makes it funny? <laughs> Raditz. Raditz. I they like need, Raditz. They need to bring him back and do more with him. Because when a you cosplay Raditz, when you find out they're related, uh, yeah, Raditz was was bad at the start, but yeah. You, you like they could do more with them. Well, everybody I, I, can't be goddamn Goku. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. And in some cases, you don't want to be Goku. Or Yamcha. But like, I'm pretty sure you had some sibling spats. Of course. Every now and then, I've some of them I was privy to. Actually, you were privy to a couple of the ones I had with uh, King Packer. Every mm-hmm. now and then, but sibling rivalries, like they can be. You think they would be? What's the term I'm looking for? You think they would be helpful in pushing each other, but they they are not. No. You are. They call them sibling rivalries. Those are fights. Absolutely not productive at all. They are. They're <laughs> fights. I, I'm telling you, people. If you have a sibling, you know what it. You know what it is. Like there's the very few times y'all are productive, but most of the time y'all are at each other's throat. You go coin Vegeta. At this point, that might. I get that's a rivalry, but those two might as well be related. More like cousins i feel like exactly brothers now how many sibling rivalries have crossed into the territory of literally like dante and virgil itachi and sasuke that's like man i can't name i had a few friends that had that i was like that at one point too i swear i I literally swear me and me and uh king packer were like (laughs) well like itachi and sasuke to some degree like oh my goodness but like the way anime the way they play it up, and you'll see it in a lot of shonen, more so than you will in a lot of slice of life and stuff. The way the slice of life genre or just basic dramas will play it out, mm-hmm. it'll be some tension, but it's always that thing of like, well, he slightly had something better than me, and so I want it. Well, that's usually the underlying thing, but see, in dramas, it'll be like, huh. Well, I'm already the ultimate one. I'm the better sibling. Yeah, you had everything taken from me. Yeah, but since you have gone, well, have have gone. Since you're going after the main MC girl, I'm gonna interfere because I can. I want to be a douchebag. <laughs> like you, you watch, you'll watch these dramas and you're like, bro, y'all need to fight. Y'all just need to literally just fight. And it's like 30 to 60 chapters of both the brothers trying to swag. Who's got the better swag? basically i was gonna say that sounds like boy problems oh yeah oh yeah yeah sibling rivalries as dudes is actually i would say anime depicts it well like if there's a girl involved that they're fighting over sweet life of zach and cody actually showed this when they were fighting over a girl they were trying to outswag each other well and then it leads to a fist fight they kind of that's difficult for them because they look the same so 
Like, there's a whole other dynamic coming into play. Yeah. Like, they're literally twins. And petty, petty, petty tactics as well. We're going to get over to the twin thing in a second. But, like, the way it is shown with sibling rivalry. And it's actually... It's depicted slightly differently if it's two boys and two girls. Mm -hmm. Essentially. But they they do follow this one thing. And there is, 90% of the time, the older sibling... Is, is the, the douche yeah, yeah he's the douchebag or he's the probably it's never the younger sibling and they are portrayed word to the babies bro well, they're doing us <laughs> dirty out here last the born supremacy we are portrayed as some pompous douchebag or some stupid psycho because i'm just mm-hmm. gonna call it what it is mm-hmm. y'all be jealous bro my mom literally told me stories of my brother, I'm like in the little, you know, the little bouncy thing that you put in the doorway and yeah. the baby's like in it. My brother would walk past and literally take my pacifier out of my mouth. Like, bro, you, you have teeth. Why are you bothering me? I'm stationary. I can't even get to you if I wanted to. Like, stop being an asshole. <laughs> I'm a baby. <laughs> man, bro. Uh, for me, man, he for, just wanted the attention, I guess. Man, for me and my brother, it was... I would say a lot of our fights started as we got older, because like it would it would irk because like for a lot of older siblings we feel like the test run we're the beta, like literally. And then if a third sibling's introduced, like then the younger siblings the beta and we're the alpha. So I was like the alpha beta test and all that. But what irks me the most is that we are there's a lot of responsibility thrown onto us. And then we see the younger sibling shirk that. Now, I've definitely seen in a lot of anime more recently, I would say within the past nine years, mm-hmm. there have been like anime and manga coming out where the younger sibling had, will take on the responsibility of the older sibling because the older siblings like F Ew. this mess. So the older siblings, we get like three main archetypes here. We get the point where we're like F this mess and we move on. And that's if we are in the main character slot or if we're in the main character's party. But usually, we are the one that is either... Actually, no, four archetypes. Because we have the one I just mentioned. Then we have the one where it's like, well, we want our older sibling to succeed, but we're going to be a douchebag and beat your ass. Uh, You mean younger? Oh, yeah, the younger sibling to succeed. We're going to be a douchebag to kick your ass. And I will cite Tales of Berseria, Rokuro and his whole family for that one, and Itachi. And then you have the pompous big... And the... Um... Um... Zoldwicks. Zoldwicks. Uh, Hunter Hunter. Oh, oh, yeah. Because they did kill him. <laughs> yeah, they, they Good point there. Good point. Then you have the older siblings that are just pompous, 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 that are just pompous douchebags. Uh, from what I've heard of Black Clover, they're all over the place with them. Mm-hmm. I'm going to throw Raditz in that one because he was kind of a dick to Goku. Vegeta, we don't see much with Vegeta and Tarble, but Vegeta just is... It's kind of pompous to a degree. Virgil from Devil May Cry. Most definitely. Pompous jerk off of a brother. Wants power over his brother. For that reason. And then you have the psychotic break of Sid. Or the siblings with the psychotic break. Which a lot of female characters tend to fall into the last two. The pompous older sister that's mad at her younger sister. Or... The one who just has the psychotic break. I even, I've made my own OC based off that one. Like, just literally. And that's what that's all we get is the older sibling. So growing up, I'm watching a lot of anime. And if I ever had a moment that a lot of people have where it's like, oh, well, I want some representation. Why aren't I represent? I was like, why is there very few anime where the older sibling whooping on the younger sibling ass of being a dumbass? <laughs> like you, you, come on like all the siblings we get done dirty up here we are the ones that are seen as the villain and we gotta die at the end mm. every time just so the younger sibling can be like I'm sorry Onicha Onicha <laughs> I need to protect my friends it's alright you did good man but I could've whooped your ass anyway just this this little what we get bro I was so happy when I saw the Itachi Sasuke fight and I swear to god bro y'all can go look at it I will fight all Naruto fans on this Itachi let that boy win he even told him, bro, I got one million more jutsus. But man, this virus is whooping my ass so deuces. I was like, that's the only reason he lost. That is, that made me happy. Every time I saw Inuyasha get transported, well, the B-Fest, the Shomaru is just awesome. 
No, for real. He's just he's awful. Give him his thing. I can't even I can't even like put that one in there. But watching like Virgil whoop on Dante, when I heard Virgil was the older brother, I was like, look, Dante, I'm using you, but I gotta say that with your brother, dog. Like that's all I get. So we get our asses handed to us in the end. He got mind control for like four different games. I, I don't know about the whole coming back and cutting your son's arm off thing, but <laughs> that's something crazy. But okay, from from, a, from the younger sibling, when you grow up and oh, growing up seeing this in media, like anime and movies and stuff, how, how did it feel to you? Um, well, I have kind of a different perspective. One, because I am a girl child, and it's different because you say usually you know the older sibling all the responsibility falls on them well sometimes in families it transfers over to the girl child because girls tend to be kind of bit kind of a bit more responsible hmm. so i mean i can see it from both sides but i know for me i'm I've always been the most responsible sibling. Like, if they want something done, they just skip over my older brother. It's like, oh, she'll get it, you know, taken care of. And it kind of fucking sucks. Because it's like, I, I'm the younger one. I should be, you know, having fun and doing what I want to do. But I got to be responsible because this motherfucker not responsible, you know? Yeah. So I didn't really always actually feel represented as far as like younger sibling representation in anime other than being pissed at my older sibling bruh in most <laughs> animes y'all wipe the floor with us <laughs> i'm just saying we get oh but Inuyasha is like adamant barrage and his brother and i'm like yo <laughs> come on it's like it there is there's always a drive usually when it comes to the sibling rivalries, and a lot of it is based off like stuff in reality like like you mentioned sometimes responsibility falls on you mm -hmm. and it's some situations i can't speak you to can't that. right you can't talk today Blogging did you do me. drugs before you got on here or something uh, okay or maybe that nasty jaeger okay that whoa, you tried whoa, to whoa, offer whoa, me whoa, whoa we are not nobody likes jaeger jaeger my okay meister that is my meister Okay, weird. That is like my Liger Zero Jaeger. That is the giant robot I fight kaijus with, right there. And those kaijus are my demons at night. There's another thing. The older sibling probably is always... got demons because you're drinking Jaegermeister. Hey man, just let me have my demons, dog. I need it. By God, King. Anyway, so <laughs> I will state some of the better, the better. Well, actually, I'll, I'll save that one for now, but. A good chunk of the sibling rivalries do come from things that we've mentioned. It could be fighting over toys. Me and my brother fought over so many toys. I can't name how many times I've been jealous of this man because he's the things he's done right and earned. And in my eyes, all I saw was like, well, damn, this this isn't working for me. So much so I've overshadowed my own my own accomplishments, accomplishments. and stuff. It is that is it's shown. Cause you have accomplished a lot. It is. You have to. It is. It's shown in anime quite a bit. But I had to get older to see that. Like growing up, I'm like, yo, come on. So the the moments where the older sibling did step up and do something were very rare. Cause there are animes where the older sibling had reasons for doing what they were doing. I, mm -hmm. I will I will uh, cite Love Hina and Love Hina Suruko, who is Matoko's older sibling. She mm -hmm. shows up. All Sudoku cares about is her sister. A, she cares that her sister stops, you know, fighting the fact that, you know, she's a girl. Because the way her sister saw it, because she was a girl, she saw herself as weak. She saw her sister, who is the strongest student in their school. Like, I'm talking ungodly strong. Like, compare mm -hmm. Goku to an Adam. Oh, wow. Yeah, Love Hina's wild. Y'all got to read that. But, um she's that strong she went off got married you know happy wife husband's doing i don't know what the her husband do that man just cold for no reason but and she was saying like yeah my sister you know stopped training and everything and she got weak her sister walks up in a swordsman gear and everything and it's like oh my god how you doing child i ain't seen you in a minute that don't look like somebody that stops training matoko who's the younger sibling is forced to lie cover up her tracks that she that I think it's around the time Matoko started to kind of accept. She started to understand the fact that she is a girl mm -hmm. and that there's nothing wrong with doing the girly things. Basically, her whole story is about two things, accepting 
accepting who you are and balancing your life. Mm-hmm. Sister shows up like two or three times in the whole series and basically goes in on her ass because she's like, fam, you need to decide what you want to do. And since she don't want to decide what you want to do, we about to fight for this shit, motherfucker. That's, uh, oh. that's basically what happens. And I respect that. I respect that a lot. Because growing up, you know, you were the oldest sibling. Oh, my God. M- Mama Denda says this all the time. I'm I'm the engine <laughs> to the train. So the oldest sibling has to pay. We're supposed to pave the way. Now, the only thing that sucks is when it comes to anime, because we paving the way, we the first motherfucker to get off. God damn. Like, I mean. I didn't use the mind. <laughs> See, at one point, I didn't care, because I was like, yay, fighting. This man died. As I got older, I was like, you you could have just dived in and tackled your bro to the ground, bro. You didn't have to jump in the way of the giant man-eating plant bug. Okay. It wouldn't be as dramatic, though. Yeah. And then I'm just sitting up here like, man, I love my siblings, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> not for you. <laughs> So sorry. Oh yeah, I'm not. Oh, I I'm definitely pushing you out of the way. I'm not gonna sacrifice unless like there's no other way. I'm not doing that. Pushing pushing out of the way is one thing. I'm diving like we just we both going to the ground. Here. Right, like I'm not. If I don't have to die, I'm not about to sacrifice I will myself give for you. An arm and a leg. That's it. I just listen. Yeah, we we y'all know we about to segue into the good forms of sibling representation now. Full Metal Alchemist, yeah, and Demon Slayer, hands down. And I hands think this, down. I think this is one of the reasons why it's, these are rather popular. Now, I will definitely say, Demon Slayer, the anime is, did bring it to light because it'd been out for some time. Mm-hmm. So the anime did turn eyes to it, but after reading the manga and you know watching both versions of Full Metal Alchemist, watching siblings work together is slightly better than watching like a group a team of people yeah working together now don't get, don't get me wrong i'm all about teamwork we sign a heroes in this bitch bro. I, I feel that <laughs> you know wakanda forever iwabe or what are they no i, I don't know what it. this is but watching siblings work together is just there's a feeling of it's a it's a familial type of feeling it's like watching mm-hmm. a family fight together it mm-hmm. is there's a line of you can feel that these people are in sync more or less and there's an as a level of understanding and communication i give add an l add an l add an wow oh good god i'm thinking do of you L's. need cue cards god i think so to I read i give <laughs> al and ed so much credit because they got into some spats but they solved that stuff quickly them boys were way ahead of their time and they had to deal with a lot not to mention maybe the age gap helped though I always thought they were about a year or two apart, weren't they? Let me see. How old, how old I thought were he had a few years on. I thought Edward had a few years on. Uh, Let's find out real quick, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I was, I'm not like, curious. I always thought they were. I always thought they were a year or so apart. I, I didn't think they were like. Because if that's the case. Oops. Y'all are hearing typing. I want y'all to know that. Older brother Edward, fifteen to sixteen. Yeah, yeah, they're about a year apart. Oh, okay. I thought they. Cause I was, I'm like, yo, if like if Alphonse is like twelve, that's a very mature twelve year old. I'm like, whoa. So I gotta give him credit on that one. But uh, yeah, the way those two acted is very, very admirable. Especially Edward. He's a very good example of the type of big brother that you should be. Uh, he ex- shouldered all the responsibility for not only his sins, but for the family. And he always looked out for his brother. Now, what I like about Al is Al had a motherfucker's back. Yeah. That man, as you should. That man was there. He was. It was like Goku and Krillin with them. Yeah, Krillin was that boy. I don't care what nobody says, bro. Krillin was that boy. Man was there with Goku every step of the way. Al was there. That man. If Ed was like, bro, I'm about to fight all the homunculus. What's good, bro? Al was like, I got you. What alchemy do you need? I am the tank. I am cold. As long as they don't hit that blood stain on the back of my neck, I am cold. <laughs> I'm ready. Folks was that bro, Al was throwing hands half the time, bro. In this suit of armor. And that's the thing. You would there were times where I was like, well, Al, you ain't really important. Sometimes. And then I see this man throwing hands. Up. 
I would, because I would think that because my focus is on Ed. Mm-hmm. I almost said L again. My focus is on Ed. But then I would see Al just throw up his dukes, and I was like, oh, that's right. You can fight. Wait, you can fight? Oh, snap. Al mm-hmm. is cool. Like, Al is, if anything, I would say they have a good dynamic because the things that Ed can't do, Al can. And what I saw throughout the series, Ed had a tendency, while he was smart, both of them are very intelligent. Ed had a tendency to get in over his head, where Al would be like, "Wait a minute." Now it would because as the oldest, I feel like he probably felt like he got something to prove. Yeah, and it's it's weird because in a way, the way anime represents it, the youngest sibling is the one that always has to feel that to the older sibling. The younger sibling always feels like they're in the shadows. Now, in a way, that that can be reversed. Sima Zhao and Sima Shi are good examples too because Sima Shi was actually doing a good job Zhao was kind of lazy he always felt like he was in the shadow of his brother the catch though is that while Sima Shu was getting stuff done there were some people that was like yo F this man this man in the back alley bro we're gonna take a dial blade to this man back that's <laughs> that's what folks didn't like Sima Shu like that but hey Sima Zhao had the main back every every two seconds now it's actually funny because the the relationship between that I see me and my brother when it comes to Sima Shi and Sima Zhao, I see myself as Zhao. Whereas I see my brother as Shi. Most of the time. But that's just from, from my point of view. To a degree. Dante and Virgil eventually work together. Tanjiro and Nezuko, I think, are interesting. Because of a few things. For starters, that one is a boy and one is a girl. They're precious. Yes, I love them. They are. I would I lay will. down my life I for am. them. Yo, I'm throwing hands with anybody. Folks was like, well... Which wouldn't make sense because they obviously both can fight. Basically. <laughs> Post was just like, they. I, I got their back. I got so mad when people were like getting on Nezuko about the whole transformation thing. And I'm like, y'all, she, she's a shapeshifter. She's like 12, my mans. The only thing on this girl's mind is whooping Doki's ass. <laughs> like, yeah. That's it. It, it, it's funny. Nobody said a damn thing about Doki. <laughs> we just, like, let's, let's, not, let's not get too off topic. I want to do another Demon Slayer thing. Because everybody I can think of didn't say shit about Daki. And they actually, you know what? Daki and Gyotaro. Was it Gyotaro? Daki and dude with the sickles, bro. His name is Sickle Man from now on. That's Sickle I can't, Man. I can't remember his name. I got Google right here. What, is, uh, what, what was the name of Daki's brother? I just want to look this up real quick. Because I cannot remember his name. I hit caps lock real quick. Let's see. Let's type in Daki's brother. Yeah, you were Gitarra. right. I okay. thought that was right. Yeah, so Doki's brother Gitarra. So their relationship too was I like the whole not would duality be the term? I like how theirs kind of mirrored Nezuko and Tanjiro. Cause I think Doki was the older. Was she the mm-hmm. older one or was she the younger? No, he was the older one. But they weren't actually related. Like he just took her on as her as his younger sister. Okay, so he Doki had a younger the- sister, but it wasn't her. She was killed. Okay. 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 Because like what what they what Daki and Giotaro went through was was wild. Yeah. That was wild. A lot of and I'm gonna tell you all of the demon backstories be just hell yeah. And the Hashiras, honestly, like they they backstories. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was that? Yo, the Hashiras. I'm still. You a hater? And love is not in you. I need to get all. I need to get over. What I saw in the first few the, the first few seasons of Demon Slayer, or the first yeah, you need Slayer. to catch up. No, 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 no. It's it's largely I remember I read through the manga. Well, I sped read through the manga. I know what happens, but fuck out them damn Hashira. Cause a, I'm gonna be honest, and folks gonna come for me. I don't like that look. I do not trust her. I do. Not you like need her. to no. I no, no, no. I don't like it. Most of the Hasha. to come over this table on you. Mo- most of the Hasha, I have a barrier set. She's up. really. I've never seen a character quite like her. I I like the way her story unfolded because I didn't know what to expect. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna beat your ass when we get off this this podcast. All right, let's go on and continue back before yeah. I die. Mm-hmm. But what I was saying is, I like how their situation mirrors Tanjiro and Nezuko's and how easily it could have went south yeah yeah and when it comes to tanjiro and nezuko i like a tanjiro being the older sibling was was willing to lay down his life for his sibling it was 
his last one. Yeah. Because they slaughtered all the rest of them. And, and they were children, children. Yeah. And then there's the fact that Nezuko, Nezuko herself willingly fought. It wasn't she went feral for a long period of time. In the same episode, she was fighting mm-hmm. off the demon, the demonization. Mm-hmm. So she's already having an internal battle. Right. And I like how Tanjiro realized this and externally is like, okay, I'm going to do what I can. Both of these siblings do what they can. And that's that's why like I, I actually like Demon Slayer a little bit because I'm like Tanjiro is an older sibling. It's a good representation. He took Giotaro's sickle to the bottom of his jaw and that man was like, F- my jaw my tongue your ass is grass <laughs> yeah that's i don't know if i can do that <laughs> bruh what you call what was that tenzin got cut across the eye lost his arm <laughs> demon slayer despite the fault there are haters for it and i will say this to the haters i'm gonna give demon slayer this this <laughs> they mean they finna kill your ass they finna do it. nah for real they before they die you will die that is the this is what they trained for be like your ass is got Tintin is like, I got one arm and I'm finna beat your ass. You got poison. F- this poison. <laughs> but what I like, I like seeing that. Cause these two siblings got their back. I remember when uh when Tanjiro fought them two little water dudes in that mm-hmm. town at first. I was tripping because I was like, it'd be funny as hell if Nezuko just kicked the door open. She kicks the door open. Yeah. Huh. She'll play by her brother. Yeah, Nezuko does not bro. Nezuko, I guarantee you, bro. Like later into the future. She was on uh, whoever Tanjiro gets with. You know, I can, it's pretty obvious, but I can't say anything spoilers. But whoever Tanjiro get with, bro, Nezuko was in the shadows like, do something. Do something. Look at one other dude. If you I remember, um, oh, I can't remember his name, but. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Ooh. Oop, that's copyright. You broke a, broke a rule. That's copyright. It's supposed to be on silent. My bad. It but, is. Um, um, I can't remember her name. But the the doctor lady that's trying to collect all the demon blood and Tanjiro sending her the samples and the little for- white haired boy. I forgot her name too. Right. And he was like, uh, your sister's not even cute. And Tanjiro's like, look at that face. Bro. She's f- adorable. Yes. How could you say yes, that? Yes, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. <laughs> that is something I, I love about Tanjiro too, man. Especially, first of all, I like, the thing I like about Nezuko is when she just, she just sitting there blank face. When she got that blank face, bro, she just be rolling Ooh. around doing stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> you, you'll you see that. You're just like, man. Like she is precious. What, she is. What is but wrong Tanjiro, with Tanjiro, he does what I, I think a lot of siblings do, especially older brothers, bro. Like, if somebody be like, bro, man, did the line, your brother ugly. Do you not see these pecs? <laughs> you see, these are Goku level picks. We ain't talking about that, Yusuke. You admit these Goku level picks, bro. He got his own cell shading. I'm glad you said that because I think a really good representation of older sibling, younger sibling with uh, a girl and a boy, Karama and his sister. She used to be on his ass. Not Karama, uh, Kurabara and his sister. Oh, hell yeah. Bro. She used to be on his ass. Bro, all right, I'm gonna be real. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. I only say this because my ass is melanated. They had the best relationship of black siblings. <laughs> I can't name how many older sisters I've hung out with that have just <laughs> dog slapped their brother for some. St- <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call this one Mary and the other one Jake because I don't want to use their real names. I was hanging out with Mary one day and her brother came in and was like, "Man, bro, I laid it down, bro, and just left. She smacked this. Oh. This man." Like you, what, what was that? John? We used to say when we were younger, bro, get the main neck, bro. Main Give neck. Give me that neck. <laughs> I ain't never seen like another black dude's neck red, boy. <laughs> and he was like, what was that for? He's like, bro, why you going to do that to her, bro? As I th- I'm assuming they knew the girl because I'm just mm-hmm. sitting up here like. Oh. Which is good. You shouldn't let your siblings be out here. Being... It is. It is. It's just like, it just from what I'm I not going to say that word, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. From what I saw, I'm just I like. I am ass niggas. Don't, don't, don't let your siblings be ass niggas. Yeah. I, from what I saw, I'm just like, damn, she just hauled off and hit this man. So she explained it to me later. It, it was somebody that they knew and they got along with. And that little bro got lucky. And she was like, you finna take responsibility for that stuff. Uh, now, luckily for him. He, he did wise up and decided to glove 
and everything. But she ain't telling this man's business. Man, they don't know who these guys are. That's why I use the names Mary and Jay. But but yeah, Mary Mary got in his ass, bro. Cool bar sister was I like how she was chill about it. Every well, time she showed up, she'd be like, cool bar, sure, little bro. Every time, bro, cool bar, I think he's more afraid of his sister than Yusuke. <laughs> yeah. That is so that is a very very it's good so example. Cute. That's a very good example that you you brought up right there. So yeah, so then we got we got Kuwabara and his older sister. What was her name? I am looking it up. Yeah, so we have Kuwabara and his older sister. We have the Elric Shizuru. Shizuru. Kuwabara and Shizuru, the Elric brothers, and the Komodo siblings. It is I I like it. I like it very, very much. And there there are other animes. Oh yeah, the uh Uyama sisters, Matoko and her sister Todoroki and his siblings but they only like united in the fact that they hate Endeavor <laughs> I don't and unfortunately I don't I don't know that much about my hero outside of what little bit I've seen so I won't get in on that one I Wild Tiger from Tiger and Bunny and his brother they have a good relationship in a sense it's it looks like they're somewhat at each at each other's they have a they have a more mature relationship so theirs is wild tiger and his brother their relationship is more of what you would expect from two grown adults mm -hmm. that are siblings they talk it out they'll argue for a second and then stare at each other like dude <laughs> all right man that that's a that's a respectable relationship in my eyes it took me and my brother are kind of sort of like that now like we actually we don't even really argue, bro. We just be like, whatever. All right. A few minutes later, hey, bro, you trying to help me whoop Lou Boo? All right, bro, let's do it. Like, <laughs> now that's one thing I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go back to siblings working together. We fought a lot, but man, we was killing video game bosses, boy. Uh, like um, that goes back to Sabo Luffy and uh, Ace, cause them folks used to be at each other's throats. Oh, but. If somebody tried to pull up on Luffy, they like, hey, get off my little brother, bro. Yes, bro. Now that's that's a man. That's one thing. When it comes to siblings, you end up defending these folks. They do some wild stuff, but you just like, hey, I'm the only one allowed to whoop that man ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I definitely been in that situation. You will pull up real quick. I started getting in. Uh, I started acting more like Android 17, bro. And I was like, hey, look, y'all can fight, but uh. Anybody else jump in? I'm going to introduce you to the ground. And your relationship will be intimate. <laughs> yes, Team Four Star, I ripped that line off from y'all. Because it is just so f***ing awesome. Please make a shirt for that. But like... You can make your own shirt. I will, but Team Four Star would know us from them. And I respect them too much. Plus, I, it would mean so much if they just made the shirt. They'll probably never hear this, but I love them. But <laughs> that's basically how I was, man. Android 17 and 18, despite being diabolically evil, man. They... they they had some good sibling relationships going on there. Because if, as soon as the Z Warriors jumped in, Trunks got in there 17. I told you. <laughs> He's beat everybody's whole ass, bro. <laughs> like, legit. That's, and that's the thing. Like, even their future variants were terrorists. They still, to some degree, got along well. Which is funny because in Super, their relationship is oddly strained. Like, I think... It was a little bit after the mess would sell. 17 and 18 would rarely speak to each other. Like he's, they would talk on the phone, but that's about it. They essentially went their separate ways. And you see them while they're able to get along in the tournament of power. It's most like, what the f you want, dog? Like, that's basically it. Excuse my language. That's basically it. And he's like, oh, I haven't seen Maron. It's Maron. Excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> so they they got a weird relationship, but man, you mess with one of them, that's it. You you catching hands, bro. Now, with me, I'm of the belief if the siblings started it, you know, you you on y'all. It's like, all right, well, you started this. Okay, they didn't kick your butt for ten seconds. All right, time to jump in. <laughs> I need y'all to I need y'all to get off and start absorbing people. But yeah, you mentioned that you were almost in that situation. You want to know? No, I'm saying I've, I've definitely been in that situation where my brother was being like targeted. And I'm like, okay, I can understand 
but y'all need to relax. This oh, is my brother. Man, uh, okay. Like, yeah, you know what I'm talking I about. I know, man. It was a group of dudes. I was, I was a group of I was dudes. Like, hey, bro. A group of idiots put together the dumbest. The dumbest. I don't think it was dumb. Like it. No, it was. It was the. It was the dumbest. It was a good idea. It just with went piss poor execution. Yes, I'm talking the level of execution of Street Fighter Five. Ladies and gentlemen, that is that was piss poor execution. Like I walked in, like what? What the fuck is this? And what is going on? It sucks because that event. He kind of right. deserved it, but I was just like, Mm-mm, not ladies, in front of me. Ladies and gentlemen, if I can share a story, Dindelion is one of them idiots that was a part of it. For some reason, I didn't expect it to go as far as it did. So planning is essential. But long story short, <laughs> Exo Aizawa took a lot of people's powers that day, bro. She was, she went in, and we had a bunch of other people. I'm yeah, just start I, giving random names, bro. I emptied the clip. I bro, was like, Exo anybody Aizawa, can get it. I don't even know all Rouge of y'all. the bat, Chi Chi, bro, Goku, like everybody just went ham on us. Bro, then the line over here, like, damn, I ain't even know what. You want to know what's funny, bro? Everybody came out the den the line too. I ain't see them go after that uh the the Shadow Fox or Music Note. I ain't see them go after none of them, bro. Folks, folks I went mind. after everybody. I got the worst of it. And I'm just like, I didn't even know it would go this far. I roasted my own self. So the whole idea, ladies and gentlemen, was Essentially to, a roast. Yeah, it was a roast to try to fix the friend group. And that did not go as well. And uh XO Aizawa was like, I <laughs> Well, I got some for that. Well, hey, so I was like, what you doing with them weights? Bro? Why are you dropping them weights? Why is there like, an earthquake? Uh, Sam from Hope. I can fix that. <laughs> hey, y'all, her hair turn up. Then the line where you go, he left a note. Deuces. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, there, there are plenty of times you're going to want to protect your sibling. This is somebody. It's, it's kind of like with a close friend. This is somebody you've been with. Like, it's just natural. Yeah. You did not deserve my protection. And even, even, even then, like, you, you will question why this happened like why am i doing this like you you started it because there, there have been times where i've had some of my my siblings because i've got more than just like one brother they have started and opened a can of worms and you know i've had to step in and clean it up it's not my issue i shouldn't have a reason to but naturally you want to that's why like uh, growing up i've learned there are ways to step in y'all if your sibling is in trouble now if they're in life threatening oh my god there's that c to c cable i was looking for wow but anywho <laughs> if your sibling is in some life threatening danger you gotta jump in and go super saiyan by all means do it i'm not saying don't that's the situation where it's whoop ass and kill first then ask questions later but if it's a situation like if it's like a heavy argument or you see a lot of folks roasting them take a moment like a quick moment a twix moment step back and be like how can I defuse this? And how can I look cool doing it? Yes, yes, I literally think okay. about this. Well, I don't think about the look cool part, but it's, it's usually. No, nah, you said it, it, so obviously that's I've, a component. I've had to get big with them, man. Like, it's like times when King Packer wasn't here, man. I had to deal with Lil Bits and Lil Bit too. And, like, you know, Lil Bit, she bring Buff Nigga up in here and he go crazy. I gotta be like, hey, look, Buff, I need you to calm down, bro. Push me one more time. I will absorb you and shit you out and eat you. Why would, that, that why actually, would you eat? That actually made him stop. I just I just said shit. Like I said, like I said, like I said, I'm a weird dude. I mean now now I mean I now that eat. we're past it. I do not <laughs> eat. I do not eat my own extra. I do not. However, that made him go, what? Like he was a little bit more willing to listen. <laughs> There have been times I've had to get big. Like, as a sibling, you got to get big with people. And we see this. Even Sashomaru. I would pause. Even Sashomaru yeah. has shown up and was like, hey, hands off. Right. I'm, hey. I'm going to kill him, so you need to relax. Yeah, that's my prey. I'm killing him. Domo Kashu and his bro. Actually, no, that's more sibling. That's 90% sibling rivalry right there. I'm not even going to bring that one up. But, yeah, like, there's... Watching siblings work together, defend each other, I think... I think the Elric brothers and Demon Slayer portray that the best out of what and I've One seen. Piece. Yeah, One Piece too. Well, I, I said it because like I said, I haven't really watched it. I should just be a One Piece promoter because literally every time we do one of these, I bring up One Piece. Yayo, yayo. There's, hey, I will forever love the intro. But yeah, you're right. One Piece does promote it too. So now, now we're going to segue into like the, the last part of it. And... All right, this... I'm a fan of rom-coms and dramas. 
And the sibling representation in those can go from really good to holy mother. What am I watching? I have absolutely no input on this topic. <laughs> I have a lot of input on this topic because while I've gotten some pretty good stories, I've got some questions. Bro, I don't understand how you get the brother and sister complexes like this. Oh, sweet mother. Uh, okay, so I'm going to, I'm talking about SISCON and BROCON, which is short for brother complex and sister complex. And the way I'm using these, it actually, you know what, real quick, since we have this up right now, we're going to bring this up with the way I'm using these. We're going to look this up real quick. This so, is just terrible. Yes. So we're going to look up BROCON. I couldn't even imagine. Let's see. Yes, the word brocon can be used to describe a fictional character who is in love with or very obsessed with their brother. And the same can be said for Siscon. Now, there are a lot of manga and anime based off these two topics. I, I Now, in a way, some of them are actually very hilarious because some of these folks go through some extra length. I would, there, was, there was one with a girl that was a brocon and she went through... The length she went through, she got her brother a girlfriend, purposefully started drama with the girlfriend, and made them break up, just so she'd have a chance at her brother and got like, them why back. Would you... It's wild. The only, actually, I have literally one input, only one. Yours, brother. In a yes. spy family. Yes. Oh wow. Well, because I, I was like, what? I what she, is he on right now? I thought now? you said your brother, and I was like, uh, no, I King did not. Well, no, I mean, I'm a good looking dude. That's a little. <laughs> he is going <laughs> tambourine. If he, if he hears this, he's he is gonna kill me when he. Because right, you gonna be the one to get in trouble. Because <laughs> you know, I wouldn't roll, say that. He gonna roll up with laxes and both of them about to beat me. We on a flight right now because he felt you say something. Oh my God. Michael, come in. I right, big man. <laughs> Whoa, calm down. Hit the gym, bro. I know you losing weight, but you about to pay for that. <laughs> But um, yeah, her brother was on some, this some man, other. Uh, like, bro, what the? The way they were setting him up, I thought he was just gonna be that hard case of a brother. Yeah, like overprotective. Well. Now, Nobody's good enough for my sister. Yeah, the overprotective brother is a very, very common sibling trope, and it's oh, I can't say it's always the older sibling because it's usually the older or younger sibling. But you will, you will see the older sibling do it, and this is where the siscon comes in because they will be so overprotective and be like you don't deserve my sister she is the flower of the night the cold steel she, she is the reason you. that the sun rises she is the reason the sun exists and you're just sitting <laughs> up there like yo bro i'm just trying to get with the girl dog like literally and it, it's funny because the bro con, there's a healthy way to do that in the show in the in the manga i've read with brocons you'll have the girl that's going for the brother and she's just like i'm just trying to get with this main sis can't you understand i do I just don't want you here. What? Yo, what is going on? These these reach some unhealthy points. And like you said, yours brother from Spy Family is a very, very good example of an extra. And it's, it's crazy because he's like, yeah, I'm nice around Lloyd, but when I do my job, I am a... Psychopath. Yeah. A psychotic interrogator. That's, that is ridiculous. I want to throw Ore mode into this. Actually, you know what? Because this, this is one of them long... I was gonna say you have to look that up. Oh, I, I, am. I, I am. So it's called it's called Orimo. I I got into it, and when I was reading, not reading, when I was watching it, that's when I learned what it was. Uh, it was about. So Orimo, as I pulled up here, uh, to anybody who speaks Japanese, feel free in the comment section to correct me. Orimo is short, so a lot of a lot of anime with long titles get shortened titles. Like Did Machi. Mm -hmm. is the is it is it wrong to pick up girls in the dungeon mm -hmm. so this one it translates to i can't believe my little sister is this cute and uh we have ore no emoto ga kona ni kawaii waki ga nai kawaii sorry i'm throwing a pie at you my bad but uh yeah, you're good i couldn't resist so it's shortened to orima and <laughs> this is about a brother who starts to develop feelings for his little sister and the little sister slightly starts to develop feelings for him. But she's a closet otaku. She's actually up there on the wall, as you can see. I was going to say, is that... Yeah, that's them. And so, I watched the series, and I actually shipped the older brother with her friend Kuro Neko there. Mm -hmm. Or his childhood friend. So, it's it goes the harem route. But it's... I believe there are two types of harems. You have, of course, the harem where it's like all the... Seki Ray, for example. It's like all the girls just won't do. 
And then you have the other type of harems where it's like that, but there is a story. Mm-hmm. Like, all the girls have more than a reason just, man, you there, you man, me want you. It's like, <laughs> like they'll have reasons like, you know what? You're right. You help me with my studies. I respect you. And then like 100 chapters later, yeah, so I know you confessed to him. Yeah, I like him too. What? It just happened and I want you to know, bitch, we're about to fight. What are you doing? Why do you have that spear? Get over here anyway. <laughs> but like, so Oremo kind of falls into that second category. I was rooting for the other girls and not Kiri now. I like the character designs, but this, this shit took a wild turn. Like, it, I think it was the last episode of season two. Mm-hmm. I was, I was kind of done with it, but there are, there are, there are, there are more. I'm trying to think of some others off the top of my head where this was a thing because there was one where um a brother a brother brought his his sister was born like half zombie and she just just, she's a normal person but she's got like sharp teeth and people were confusing him for a brocon but i think he later like he later starts to wake up to his feelings for a silly to me it's it's foreign it's one of those like guilty pleasures or forbidden reads it's just like eh. I'm in this deep. Might as well keep going. More or less. And I'm very picky when it comes to my romance stories. Mm-hmm. Like, I really am. I will fight anybody. Over on Love Why, Hina. Yeah, while Love know. Hina, Toradora, <laughs> and Mason and Koku are three of the godsends of romance. Try me, boys. I will fight y'all all day. Anyway. I am very picky when it comes to these stories. But even I'm raising an eyebrow like, okay, uh, like, why? why? How? Like, even... even- stepbrother stepsister stuff is like that one that's still that one kills me those kill me the most like i get it because you're not blood related but you're also because and this isn't an anime example clueless you know with share and uh yeah i was like i want them to be together so bad but this is so freaking weird i actually have an anime example domestic girlfriend Actually, it's a more recent anime. Um, what was it? My stepsister, my new stepsister is my ex. Oh. Yeah. Well, if they dated before. Yeah, but see, this happened. That's but see, different. That's the problem. They become stepsister siblings. A couple of uh, a couple of cuckoos, I think, falls under this one as well. But domestic girlfriend. That one gets me because a case of Suga, she can. She can write. I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I do. I do think she. She fudged that ended. Josh. That was his name. Sorry. That was just bothering me. Sharon Josh. I know so many Joshes. Okay. Yeah, but I um, Kei Sasuga, very good manga artist. She writes some good stories. I think she fudged that ending. I am not one with that ending, but god dang, that story up to that point had me sucked in, and it's literally Natsuo. It's what was it? It's Natsuo, Rui, and Hina. Hina is a grown ass woman. We talking like early twenties. Okay. Natsuo and Ruri are high schoolers. Okay. Natsuo has a crush on his teacher. Yes, common. he does. He gets he gets he gets with said teacher. Oh, okay. Not school. so yeah, common. It's, it's it's wild. It but happens. So here's the catch. So at the start, I just a brief synopsis. At the start, his friends are like, "Hey man, we going to mix." By the way, in manga, if I had to be in a manga world, bro, these folks go to mixers and a lot. Like, I gotta give them that credit for that. They'd be like, bro, so we are going to this mixer and like, we need somebody else there. Man, you homie, you trying to go? What? Okay. He goes to a mixer. He meets Rory. Him and Rory have no real like interest in each other like that. And she's no just, spark. She's no just like, look. Yeah, she's just like, look, uh, all these other dudes here are horny douchebags. And <laughs> I'm curious about the world of woohoo, if you know what I mean. Shout out to Sims. Yep. <laughs> so I'm curious about the world of woohoo. And uh, you seem sensible. Wanna woohoo? And they woohoo. And that's it. That's, that's all it's tripping. Cause like, like that's it. It's just like, yeah, so uh, we did it. Uh, Why did you pick me? Uh, you weren't some horny douchebag. And I was curious. All right, peace. And I'm like, oh, okay. I turned the page. Yeah, son. So um, this is my new wife. Yeah, hey, and these are her daughters. The teacher I have a crush on and her sister I bang. You slept with my sister? Yeah, now we're siblings and the whole family's dating. 
It is. It is. That became. I'm sorry. What? A, so basically, the mom and dad are together, and his new stepsisters are the teacher he's madly in love with, who is a homewrecker. Yeah, there's more to that, but the teacher he's madly in love with. Therapy. And. <laughs> And the sister Extensive. he slept with Expensive. before. Therapy. Yeah. You need a lot. And the funny part is, they are the side the side stories are way better than the main story. The side stories are way better than the main story. It is amazing. What is it? It is odd. It's called Domestic It's called Domestic Girlfriend. It is. Oh, I'm not gonna look it up. I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> but that's basically it. It's step step siblings together. There's a there's another one. Was it was it Aero Manga Sensei or something? That one is about it too. The siblings getting together and stuff. One second, I'm getting some wild feedback or something here. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Okay, it's gone now. But um. I think it's called Arrow Manga Sensei something as well, and it's. I thought it was gonna be something totally different, but it follows the same story. Two siblings are like, "Oh, um, I have you in Kabe Don position, and you happen to be male, me happen to be female, and you have me like, y'all. We just gone. Okay, okay. This is the thing. <laughs> Apparently, I, that one I just cut off of. It just. Just, just the start was terrible, but the it's the whole sibling interest thing that gets me sometimes because I'm like, wow, like I just me personally, like like when I was reading Orimo, I'm just like, you know, these are two other people I can watch this, but at the same time, bro, how like I would have, I'm not even gonna lie, I'd have drop kick Kirino. Half the crap she does, like no, and I'm pretty sure if any girls read it, they probably would have drop kicked the older brother. And then I'm like, so let me get this straight, dude. You have a thing for your little sister. We just gonna ignore like the five other girls who look better than her and treat you better than her. You just gonna ignore them? Why do we even have to go that it's your your sister? Yeah. Y'all both came out of your mom. Best part is at the end of the series, the Lord. last the last girl left is the childhood friend. She was not about to let that go. She brought that up in their face. She threw it in their face. Folks are not going to accept it. It's going to be weird. And they got the fight. No, no, no. You don't understand. I just. No, no. This, she started, that childhood friend was using fists. Kirino was slapping her. No, the childhood friend was throwing fists. Oh, closed hands. Yes, closed hands. <laughs> she was giving her Kirino them hands and feet. <laughs> <laughs> It's just I, I with with the sibling romance. I, I can, wish I would let a girl beat me up over my brother. Uh oh. I'm going to jail, or they going to hell. Like why are you the, fighting over your brother like that? That's what I'm. saying. <laughs> if you don't get your go somewhere. I <laughs> <laughs> got you. <laughs> Overall, sibling representation in anime is vast. It is vast. There are a lot. <laughs> there are a lot of stuff. There's a lot of. There are a number of things you can pull from now. With anime being so vast and out there, there's something for, for everyone. Yep. There's but a, that there's incest, a niche. It, I, there's a niche. There is a definite niche. When it comes to the incest stuff, bro, I'll be like, I, I'll read it. Absolutely. Not. But then when I'm done, I'm like, I. What have I done? Call me a prude if you want, but I just. Usually, I'm mostly there for a lot of the drama with it. It's kind of the reason why I read, like, I'll read certain romances. The drama is just so worth it. Like, the. And it could have been just as dramatic without them being related. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it could have. But Domestic Girlfriend, you, you have to read Domestic Girlfriend. I Girl. will not. You have to. It I is will not. That drama. That is some drama. Like, oh my god. The only other thing I've seen come close to it is Promise Cinderella. No, not Oshinoko. I understand. Oshinoko is... That one is going to more than likely go the same route. I'm keeping up with the manga and the anime. And uh, if you don't know Ikso Aizawa, Oshinoko, I'll, I'll pull it up for you. Please. And so, 
Oshinoko it essentially translates into my star. Let's see. Yeah, so like right here, if you ever see a space with no as the particle, that always means to show ownership. So it, it means something. So Boku no Hero Academia, my hero. Can I see no Yaiba? That's a different one. Of course, of course. Yeah. I give the one example. That yeah, that one's that one's a bit of a different one. But Oshinoko, it's it's actually a good series. It calls out a lot of the sto the problems with stardom, social media, and society, and all that. However, the love or the supposed love interests are a dead idol and her two children. Who were previously two different people. Oh, is this the one where she has the star in yeah. one eye? Yeah. And I, I will say this. The representation of the stars in the eyes are a far better representation of what Naruto did with the damn, like, Sharingan and shit. Don't, don't tell Naruto fans. I will tell that to Naruto fans. No. I will tell the like, if it's one damn thing. Naruto run at you. And I have sure had Naruto run. fans come up to me and literally tell me how the writing in Naruto is that good, but every one of them can't seem to accept the fact that Sakura is a victim of terrible character writing. A character from Gundam Bill Fighters Try is written far more better than she is. That's another that's another topic for later because with that one, I actually want to have some other people in mm -hmm. on that one. But going back to this, Oshinoko involves two siblings. One of them's trying to get revenge for the death of their mother. The other wants to be a star to impress. She wants to impress and fall in love with somebody she thinks. Mm. Yeah, this is a, actually a good read. It is actually because they don't. There isn't really anything, even in the manga at this point, hinting at sibling romance. But every like everybody, even me, we're kind of predicting it may go that route because of who the two main characters are. But mm -hmm. for a suspenseful, yo, fuck this, this shit threw me for a loop, real quick. Like, I was reading those first few chapters, I was like, and I thought this was gonna be happy. <laughs> that's actually about, that's actually about it. Like, uh, there there are some other dark themes, but it, there there's nothing you haven't seen already. Like, I would say the only real dark part is in the first episode or in the first few chapters of the manga. After that, it's, it's stuff you've seen already. It's like, I've argued with people. I was like, yeah, Oshinoko is not really that dark after, you know, the, the start. And they're like, what about the scene with Akane? How many TV shows and stuff do we have that portray much gruesome and grimmer scenes? I would say I don't, I don't mind dark. Actually, yeah. that's like my preference the creepy stuff i'm starting to think it's something up with a lot of girls i know that watch anime y'all love that dark shit y'all really interesting. i am afraid y'all are dark type pokemon but i also <laughs> i'm a dark child but uh oh. i uh like horror movies and stuff so like i like scary stuff so starting to notice a running theme here a very running thing. All right, but uh, is there anything else you want to say real quick? Closing statement um, about siblings in anime? You know who we didn't mention? The Sins. All of them are siblings. From the Seven Devil Sins? Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. I I never knew. And they all hate each other. Except a couple of them are, like, cool with each other. I didn't know that they were... So, Bon is related to Meliodas? No. I meant the, uh... The commandments. Is it the commandments? Meliodas's demon siblings. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, I, my I bad. Don't, I don't that know. would be messed up because I don't know. Too we much. know why that would be messed up, but no. Yeah, I don't. I don't know too much on these seven. I actually need to pick up from yeah, that where was, I left off. All the, I think it's the Ten Commandments. They're all related. Okay, Dad, we did leave them out. And to, to anybody else, if we've left out any... We've si left out plenty of people, like yeah. Blue Exorcist. Damn, I... Wow, I forgot about uh, that. Wow. The brothers from Gurren Lagan, Gurren Lagan, however they're you say the, that. Kamina and Simon. Oh, Simon and Kamina. I didn't know they were... Well, no, they they're were like brothers. brothers. They were like brothers. There was a... I could have brought up Leviathan, the brother-sister combo from... Leviathan, the webtoon Leviathan, because believe it or not, they go the Tanjiro Nezuko route. 
themselves as well. There is a number of them. I did mention I mentioned Domo and Kashiwa and his brother, but that's just that's just testosterone and Domo. Oh my god, Ida. I forgot about him. Ida. From uh well you don't you don't watch my hero like that. Oh. His um uh, his family are Ida, like the, generations the machine of heroes. Dude? Yeah, with the steam. Oh, yeah, I know, I know about him. I know about and him. And his he looks up so much to his older brother and he's like, I wanna be just like him and all of that stuff. Yeah, okay. That would have been a good complex for what you were talking about. Yeah, I know about Ida. Uh damn, there are a lot. There are a lot of those. I there are some I didn't even think about. I technically I would bring Tekken into this seeing as how Kazuya and Lars are related. Well, we're doing games, Melina and uh, Damn! Jade wow! And... No, nah, Jade, Jade's not related to them, but Melina and Katana. Okay. That one, that one, going by their their original continuities, that one would be a good one because it, it showcases jealousy mm-hmm. of one of the others too. Especially with sisters, because we mostly are talking about brothers. I was trying because I brought like when I mentioned Dynasty Warriors, I did bring games into it, but I couldn't exactly think Nobunaga and his brother as well. There were wow, there's a lot I did not. Think of a damn sub zero. Might have to do a part two. Might have to sub zero and Kuala Yang. Oh my god! Wow, I wish we had a. I would have Ay- Ayane and Kasumi are some. Oh, yeah. They are perfect examples of some. Oh my god, Maya and Aya not to be. There is wow, ladies and yeah, gentlemen, we skip. Yeah, we're gonna do a part two of uh, sibling representation in anime. This is kind of one to sort of get off the ground because I did not think about that at all but uh we wrapping up here yeah that's that's pretty much all i got all right ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you all for coming out for those who listen to the podcast it may have seemed all over the place we're still working this out bit by bit uh hopefully the visual thing works as well also i am planning to make a separate channel for these podcasts i wanted to wait till today to let you know aizawa it's going to be called bcn Mm-hmm. And I will explain more about that after we get off. We're going to end it right here, ladies and gentlemen. This has been the Dandelion. Roar. <laughs> Roar. Oh my God. It, not until you're supposed to say your name. Yeah. Rah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to record my voice. Up, yeah. Up big much. <laughs> dandelion. The Dandelion. Dinda. Dindacious of the Lion. I just cannot. That's well, nothing wrong with it. I'm just trying to do a dandelion accent. You sound like those NPC people, like the um, that are doing like the subscribe things now. Ha! Press the A button to subscribe to the Dandelion TV show with XO Isola, and feel the wrath of the Lin Kuei. But anyway. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this has been the Dandelion, everybody, and XO Isola. You all take care and have a great day. <laughs>